Nigel Farage urged MPs to reject the Brexit withdrawal agreement the British government negotiated for the third time to ensure the UK is not at the mercy of the European Union for years to come. Theresa May is expected to put her deal to the vote yet again on Tuesday despite suffering two defeats in the Commons since the start of the year. Mr Farage claimed the deal Mrs May has proposed would allow Brussels to totally dominate the UK with no chance for Britain to escape aspects of the agreement, speaking on his Sunday LBC show upon his return from the first portion of the 270-mile march to leave he campaigned for, Mr Farage said, this is not a deal. This is not a withdrawal agreement, it is a new internationally binding treaty. So let's call it that, there is no legal mechanism that we can escape aspects of it and that to me is the real problem. Worse than that, if you think that just because this treaty goes through it will end the arguments, I'm sorry but you're wrong, this treaty is the modern day equivalent of the Treaty of Versailles. We won a great victory in the First World War, we signed a bad peace treaty and it sowed the seeds of the next war. That's how disastrous Versailles was, if accepted. By MPs, Mrs May's withdrawal agreement would give Britain a two-year transition period to implement the changes necessarily for trade with the bloc. During the period, the UK would effectively be a non-voting member of the EU and would have to pay into the shared budget. Listen here, latest Brexit news from the express.co.uk final countdown podcast Brexit news. Farage warned MPs. May's deal would cause years of agony for Britain. Image Parliament TV LBC, the British MEP insisted the United Kingdom would be forced to continue pay the bill for maintaining a relationship with the EU under Mrs May's deal. Mr Farage continued, We will have years of agony because we will literally be dominated by the EU without any say whatsoever. Still, paying the bill, we will be totally at their mercy and I think the arguments raging in this country about Britain's Relationship with the European Union old be far worse and far more bitter in two years' time than there. Today, this treaty doesn't solve the European question, it makes it even more divisive and even more difficult and it's got to be rejected. While both Chancellor Philip Hammond and International Trade Secretary Liam Fox admitted a third vote on the divorce deal depends on the chances the Prime Minister has of winning. Nearly 75 Brexiteers began to signal they would be willing to support her to avoid a long extension to the talks. Former Work and Pensions Secretary Esther McVeigh admitted on Sunday she would be willing to hold her nose and vote with Mrs May despite remaining staunchly convinced her deal is a bad deal. Jacob Rees-Mogg however has hinted he will once again vote against the Prime Minister's deal following a cryptic message on Twitter. The chair of the influential European research group ERG wrote, Parliament versus the people in response to an article condemning the government's handling of the Brexit process. Historian David Starkey wrote in the Daily Mail, ruled by comfortable, smug elites, Parliament is choosing to ignore the ordinary British people as they attempt to hold power to account. Theresa May also warned MPs that if they fail to back her Brexit deal then Brussels might insist on a lengthy delay, potentially scuppering chances of leaving the European Union altogether. Mrs May said it would be a potent symbol of Parliament's collective political failure if a delay to Brexit meant the UK was forced to take part in Miss European elections almost three years after voting to leave.